Hello folks, it's December the 6th, Wednesday, and this is my third or fourth attempt at this, fourth I think, it was one 20 minute video, a 25 minute video, and uh, I think you can take it, <laughs> take it as read that this pedal is just too much fun. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this one a bit snappier. This is courtesy of my friend Matt Gleason at Monty's Guitars, a loner from him. Blackstone Appliances MOSFET Overdrive. Basically turn your twin reverb into a Mark IV boogie, extra two channels of gain. Um, both work in exactly the same way with a couple of, or with one specific difference. Um, there's the brown channel and the red channel. This switch turns the whole unit on and off. This selects red or brown. I've already discovered from looking at videos that I've done that you can't really tell from the light what color it is. The brown is a sort of orange really, to be honest. Uh, you've got red volume and red gain, brown volume and brown gain. I'm not gonna to touch this control. Fully clockwise, it's flat. As you rotate it counterclockwise, it loses bass, so fully counterclockwise, you can get a quite passable scoop sound with the with high gain, quite metally almost. Um, the red gain is interesting in that it's neutral when it's centered. As you turn it clockwise, the gain increases in the, exactly the same way as the brown channel. When you, I suppose, increase it counterclockwise, if that's not a contradiction in terms, the gain increases, but the bass tightens up uh, and, and you lose a bit of bass. So if you had a particularly flabby guitar or very loud humbuckers or something, you could use that control counterclockwise and it would get you get the same same degree of distortion but a tighter sound. It's the lazy J clean. The purple telecaster. That's the brown channel. It does that on the edge thing really well. Very responsive to pickup changes. And volume control. And pick attack. Red channel. Not as gainy as it goes, but there's a kind of a sweet spot. what with digital switching that so many things do now when the unit's off you can change channels uh, and it will come on on the brown channel or you can set it to come on on the red channel if you want that big leap The red channel is as sensitive to pickups and pick and volume as, as the brown. Clean. 
I've forgotten what I said in what video now, but you'll notice that the controls are flush. What you've got is the, the shafts of the pots that actually control the functions with slots in. So if this were a rehearsal situation and I was setting up a sound loud, I could sling it in the gig bag, nothing would change. Go straight to a gig, plug it in, three sounds. That's red. And it really does do that. Just the, oh, the slightest hint of hair on the on the note. play single notes it's almost exactly the same as the clean sound slight volume difference Again, as I say, I can't remember what I said in what video, but Blackstone are obviously not that precious about their design because in their little book of words that comes with it, it gives you hints and tips on changing capacitors um, and some sort of insight into what sound changes you can make by changing the value of, of a couple of capacitors. It doesn't like to see a buffer before it. Uh, if you're forced to use it with a buffer before it, there's a switch inside which will allow you to go into buffered mode. danger of heading the same way again as I did in the other videos it's a fantastic pedal check it check out the website There's lots of interesting information on there. there's a couple of other videos on YouTube thanks to Matt for the loan um, I found it very hard to stop once I started so that and that's you know that's the best indicator you can have really of, <laughs> of how useful something is and how much fun it is <laughs> lead sound is great but the edge sound
brake pedal, Blackstone Appliances, MOSFET Overdrive. Thanks to Matt, thanks to you. I'll see you all at Christmas. Toodaloo now. Bye.